Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ulkar Nain Hayat. Uh, today we will learn how to configure or change network interface from DHCP to static IP address on Oracle Linux and CentOS 7 and Red Hat 7 in any flavor of Linux. If you are Linux system admin or database admin, time will come when you will need to configure networking on your system. Unlike desktop machine where you can use dynamic IP addresses uh, during installation, but on server architecture recommended to have static IP. At least in most cases. Let's start step by step hands on. First we need to log into the root user. Root username root and password. I also written all steps uh, in text file which is attached to this video for your reference. So I'll just open the terminal. And first we we'll locate the corresponding script to the network interface name. In our cases this is uh, ENP0S3 located at etc sysconfig network script fcfg profile 1 so we will edit this script open the file and add the following information note that your hardware address device and UUID will be different you will only need to edit the setting for DNS, gateway, hostname, network, net mask, IP address. So and we need to also change net protocol to none before it was DICP. I open text file where I wrote down all the steps. You can see here there, is, there are only three steps. First we need to change a script file of the network interface. We did that IP address which was 192.168.1.20 that mask will be 255.255.255.0 and my gateway is 192.168.1.1 that's it we have to save the file these are all changes we did only four line we added So second file is uh, in etc sysconfig network. We need to add host name. I already mentioned down host name, gateway, and disable IPv6 in startup. We already added these four lines, no need to add. Only there are two steps. One script located on network script 
FCFG interface, active interface. Also, we already see that uh, there are two steps to check active interfaces. We, we can also copy paste, but I am just writing. After that, we will restart the network service and we will get new IP static IP on that server <coughs> now you can see You need to restart the network service. That's it, we done. New IP is 192.168.1.20.